guys. Okay, so I'm going to get on here for a second. My eyeliner is really bugging out on this corner right here. Um, so I just want to talk about something real quick, and it has to do with my main channel. Um, I know a lot of people who are subscribed to my main channel aren't even aware that I have a blog, blog channel, or they're not even subscribed to this channel, or they don't even watch these videos, but I'm going to make it anyway. Um, so... I had posted a video not too long ago, like not even an hour ago, and I'm getting tons and tons and tons of comments saying that I'm claiming that I'm a beauty guru and yet I don't do beauty videos. Yes, I used to claim I was a beauty guru. I did. Because when I first started my channel, my intentions were to do makeup videos and to do uh, palette review videos and to do outfit of the days and to do hauls and to do the stereotypical beauty guru videos but then after I started doing YouTube for a while I was like you know what I don't have to stick to guidelines there is no one telling me I have to upload outfit of the days there's no one telling me that I have to do makeup tutorials there is no one telling me that I have to do these certain videos and so I realized that hey I can branch out and I can do different videos and that's when I started to do like iPhone videos and I did a lot of tags and tags are kind of the normal like beauty guru thing to do so I just started doing lots of tags when I didn't when I kind of ran out of YouTube video ideas um, and so I just started excuse me I started doing tags and stuff like that and I didn't really do many hauls because at the time I had no income and I couldn't afford to go shopping all the time or do any anything that I really wanted to do because I didn't have an income um, at all whatsoever. Well, now my photography is kick-started and I do actually get paid from doing YouTube and people question me all the time, you know, would you still do YouTube if you didn't get paid? Yes, in a heartbeat. Um, but that is a totally different video. I'm not get, going to get too much into that right now um, because I just want to talk more about me doing beauty videos. Um, I have done palette review videos, I have done um, a couple nail polish tutorials here and there, or nail art tutorials here and there, and the reason that I hadn't done makeup tutorials, now a lot of people are asking me to do makeup tutorials and I totally understand because it's what every other beauty guru does and I personally don't want to be every other beauty guru. I want to be me. I want to be Amanda. So, um, the whole reason actually in the beginning, um, up until probably a couple months ago, the reason I didn't do tutorials then is because I was nervous to show my naked face on camera. I'm not even going to lie about it. Um, I w had a lot of insecurities and I felt that I looked horrible without makeup and stuff like that. And, you know, just every girl goes through this stage in their life in my opinion and I was just like no 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 I don't want to show my face naked on camera I don't want to show it I don't want to show it well I started seeing a couple people that I look up to on YouTube and Tumblr and everything and they started posting these videos of their naked face and these photos of their naked face with no makeup on and it really help me open my eyes and see that it's okay to be different. It's okay to look different. It's okay to, it's on the inside that what, that is what matters in my opinion, 120 million percent. It's not what's out here. It's not what's here. It's what's here. And so for me, my whole perspective of life and my whole perspective of how I view myself and how I view everyone else totally, completely changed and for the better, a hundred percent for the better. And so, um, another reason that I didn't want to do the tutorials is because of my camera quality. My camera quality is not that great. So when I zoom in and focus on my eye or something, it doesn't zoom in and focus on my eye. It just all blurs out and gets horrible and fuzzy and you can't see anything. And it's not good quality. You can't film like that. So, because I got my new camera, my HD quality camera, and I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable in my skin, um, I am probably going to start doing makeup tutorials. Probably! Um, it's just a matter of getting around to doing it. It 
just keep in mind, you guys, keep in mind that because I have my new camera and I do have HD, I want to go all out with my videos. Not all out, like some of them will be kind of lazy edited and some of them will kind of be like really intricately edited. It just all depends on how I'm feeling that day and how much I have going on. Um, back when I first started YouTube, I would upload like every single day. And then so many people would congratulate me on uploading every single day because so many other YouTubers only upload like once a week or once every two weeks or anything like that. I completely understand why. I mean, I challenge you to make your own channel film in HD, different camera angles, retake the video like 10 to 20 times, go into your video editor, edit it all up, and then wait for like three hours for it to upload because it's in HD quality. So, I challenge you to do that and tell me that you're going to upload every single day because I congratulate those people that do um, because it is a pain in the butt, especially if you have personal life going on. Um, if you have personal, say you have a death in the family and you can't tend to it, you're not going to want to film because you're going to be all depressed and upset and, you know, grieving in the grieving process. There are things that come up in life, so sometimes... You can't have YouTube be the priority, even though you may want to. I know I want to have YouTube be my main priority because I love you guys so much. But at the same time, my priorities are my personal life. And if I have to run with my mom to the gas station and pump her gas for her because she can't, then I have to drop what I'm doing, run to the gas station with my mom, pump her gas for her, and then, you know, come back and maybe get to do what I need to do. Um... And then, like, I, um, I, I had made a video, I haven't, I don't think I've uploaded it yet, though, on my main channel, uh, talking kind of about how I balance not only my YouTube, this channel, but my main channel, and then I'm ma maintaining, uh, two t Tumblr blogs, one's for my photography, one's for my personal use, and then maintaining my Instagram, and then my main photography business, and then my Deco Den business, and I'm just trying to balance it all out, and trying to get it all figured out, and all together, and trying to, it's, it's a, it's a lot of work, you guys, it's a lot of work, so the fact that I don't make the, the standard beauty guru videos of the Halloween DIYs, and the DIY this, and the DIY that, quite frankly, you guys, I just don't have the time, um, I'm going to try super, super, super hard, but it is seriously going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot of time, and it's going to take a lot of practice, and it's going to take a lot of patience from you guys to help me out and to just, um, you know, don't push. Um, I'm not trying to say this at all in a rude way. If it's coming off rude, I'm so sorry. But um, don't push. You know, I ask you guys to please, please, please understand and be patient with me because I'm learning along the way with this new camera and I'm going to be getting a new computer and I'm just, it's, it's a learning process. It's a learning process. Once I have everything done and figured out, then we can focus on the fun stuff and the fun outfit of the days and all that fun stuff. Um, but until then it's a work in progress. It's going to be, it's going to take a little bit of time. Don't rush. Don't push. It will happen. Um, hopefully. And one more thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is the, with the makeup tutorials, how I told you I didn't feel comfortable in my own skin, um, I do not have real eyelashes. Uh, if you've been around my main channel for a long amount of time, I do not have real eyelashes. I've made a video expressing and saying why I don't have real eyelashes, but I'm probably just going to make an updated one because I've gained so many more subscribers um, since then, and they haven't even seen the video because they don't even know it exists because they don't watch my older videos. So, um, But yes, I wear false lashes every single day. I do not have real eyelashes when I was in my junior, sophomore, freshman, 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 when I was a freshman, um, I borrowed a friend's mascara, wore it to bed, the next morning when I went to go take it off, I used my makeup remover wipe and I went like this, and all my eyelashes came off with it, um, so that is proof right there that you should never, never, never borrow makeup from anyone, um, at least not eye makeup, <laughs> um, and then when I was in, like, the fourth grade, I borrowed a friend's lip gloss or something and came down with mono. Uh, so, yeah, that's not good either. Uh, so never borrow a friend's makeup. If you're going to use someone else's makeup, at least, um, you know, put the product on your hand first and then apply it with a separate brush or something along those lines because you do not want to have happen. My eyelashes have not grown back. I've tried every remedy in the book. I've tried 
everything you could possibly think of. I've tried EOS, I've tried, or EOS lip balm because it's all natural. I've tried um, olive oil. I've tried a huge list, probably like this long of things to help my eyelashes grow back. And they have not come back yet. As you can see, I do not have bottom lashes. I don't know if you can even see. I do not have bottom lashes. Um, so that is another reason why I didn't do the makeup tutorials. Also, um, I have overplucked my eyebrows many, 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 many times, so I literally almost have no eyebrows either. Um, so I just hate having to explain that every single time. And I always apply my false lashes after I apply all of my other makeup because, um, sometimes if I get going with my powder too much or whatever, it'll fall on the lashes and then when I go to put the mascara on, it just kind of all clumps together and it looks really bad. Um, and then also if I put on too, if I start packing on the shadow too much, it loosens up the glue and then they just peel right off. So, um, because everyone said, well, why don't you just start off the tutorial with your falsies on and... It's not as easy as it sounds. <laughs> I wish it were, but it's not. So, I'm going to just get over my fear and I'm just going to explain in every single video, no, I do not have eyelashes, so I'm going to apply my false eyelashes. Oh, excuse me. Had a hiccup burp thing. That was weird. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to have to explain in every single video, oh, I don't have a false eyelashes, so I can't, my makeup look is going to look completely different than yours because I don't have eyelashes. You know? And for me to do a tutorial, it's like me telling you how to do something. And I don't like that. Because makeup has no rules. You can wear lip liner on your waterline. You can wear whatever you want. You can put glitter on your eyebrows. No, who cares? Makeup has no rules. It is your life. It is your makeup. You can do what you want. And also, in my opinion, it's like I kind of... Um, some of the people that I've seen like do their makeup and stuff like that, I, I look at it, I'm like, oh, that's really, really pretty. That's really, really pretty. That's really, really pretty. I kind of want to do that. And then I step back, I'm like, no, that's not me. I don't, I don't want to wear my makeup like them because that's not me. I want to stay true to who I am, come up with my own looks and be myself. And that's kind of how I want everyone to look at if I were to start doing tutorials. I don't want them to just start copying everything I'm doing. Um, it's not the fact that I'm going to be upset that you guys are copying me. Um, that's not it at all. Um, it's just the fact that I don't want you guys to stray away from who you are. You were born yourself for a reason. Um, and I've always lived by the quote, you were born an original, don't die a copy. So I've always looked for that. And also with the tutorials, everyone has a different face shape. Everyone has a different eye shape. So one look may look good on someone and one look may look horrible on someone else. Like, what I mean is, is I'll see these um, beauty gurus do these videos and they have like these big eyes and their their eyes are so gorgeous and then they'll like highlight and then they'll do their little crease and then they'll like do their wing liner and then I'll just attempt to do it just to see what it'll look like and it looks completely wrong because my eye shape is completely different. So I don't know. It's just all a different um, opinion on everything but um, I'm going to stop blabbing now and... I'm going to go ahead and go. I'm finishing up editing a video. Um, I filmed a couple videos today, so I'm kind of just going to crank through those before my mom and I's show comes on at 10 o'clock. We're going to watch The Blacklist together. And, yeah, so uh, with that being said, hopefully tutorials to come soon on my main channel. Um, depends on when I get my camera or when I get my laptop. I will keep you guys updated. I hope to. And, uh so thumbs up for looking forward to potential makeup tutorials. I'll just have to explain everything in every single video. So um, that being said, I will talk to you soon. Okay.